desk, our good friend Wayne Flagel from Iowa Hearing Aid Center, and we have some things to demonstrate here this morning. We are looking forward to it. Well, we're going to give it a try. You know, we may be the uh, example of the uh, projector at every meeting that you've ever been to. <laughs> and you should have seen him with his pocket protector when he first came in That's here. Yeah. True. yeah, we made him we're, take, it, we're take that out. But uh, you guys are a locally owned company and that's really important to you, isn't it? That's right. We are a family company and uh, we're, we like to say that we're Iowans giving back to Iowans and serving Iowans. And we've done a lot over the years. Uh, every year we give away between 25 and 35 pairs of hearing aids to people around Iowa, uh, through the state fair, through Can what we all gift of hearing. Can I put my mom on that hearing. list? Sure. <laughs> <'Cause>, uh, <laughs> we, we do have a, we have a lot of giveaways. <laughs> Back a few years ago when in uh, 2008 when they had the big floods over in eastern Iowa and all that, we gave away over $300,000 worth of hearing aids that year. And w anybody who had lost their hearing aids and their floods or anything else like that, regardless of where they bought them, we replaced them. Wow. So it didn't, wow. Have anything, didn't have That's anything cool. to do with, you know, with us or anything like that. So we like to think that we give back a lot to the to the community. There's no question about so that. So what uh, we you know, and like I said, it's uh, in Des Moines, we've got a doctor of audiology, and we have another uh, a woman who will be a doctor of audiology in February. And throughout the state, we've got really good licensed dispensers. And, and throughout the state, tell, me, tell everybody how many different locations you have. We have 22 different locations currently, and uh, we have the, um, the Gus the Bus about to come up. Wow. Yeah, there's a quite a few of them there. You know, <laughs> Some people ask me, well, how many you got? And I said, I'm not real sure, but I'm really not about sure. Lots. because almost two dozen. Yeah, yeah. But, it, but we have a lot. So anyway, so we do cover things a lot. But I'm excited about this because it's one thing to tell people how good something is. It's another to physically be able to yeah, show Yeah, we're going to give this a try. Right. What yeah. what we try to say to people is that you know the new Lynx really has great sound quality, and you know I can tell it because I have them in my right. ears, okay, right. and I can listen to it and you know everything. So I got together with one of the uh, resound engineers and we cobbled this thing together. And uh, if you've ever heard of Rube Goldberg, yeah, oh, definitely <laughs> yes. This is what's going to happen. He's, okay. a, he's a cousin of mine here, so. Okay. <laughs> 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 so, so this is kind of a thing. This is not exactly the way you would wear the hearing aid, but it's just so you can see it. Yeah, but if I was to uh, pull that out a little bit further, everything would probably fall apart. So, let's see if it works the way it is. But we will give it a try. So, what are you here. demonstrating here? This is actually my iPhone. That's your sending iPhone. Sending music to this hearing aid which will then send it to these speakers to give you an idea of what you would actually hear. So we can ear. hear it. So okay. what we're hearing from these speakers is what you would be hearing right. through this the hearing Right, this is coming through the hearing aid. Okay. okay, not coming out of here, it's coming through there. Right. Okay. All right, hopefully. Here we go. All right, let's see what happens here. You play something with a snappy Anything? beat there, Dwayne? I don't know. Okay, some easy to let's, dance let's to. Let's see what's on his iPod. What is he jam to in the morning? Nothing is working. I know. I would. I would never let anyone uh, have uh, possession of my iPod <laughs> to see whatever Can embarrassing songs I had on there. Can you hit the pause it? button? Unpause it in the middle. That's not paused. All right. They played a complete. Might have played to completion. It might have. So we've got a. We've been jamming all morning. We've been doing this thing all like. Can that's you that's believe it? That's all we do. All the commercial breaks. Why would that not do that? Well, well we, it's. Well, you can. Hey, how about let, let me play with it here a little bit. Where's this? Pull up your song list here. Yeah. Okay. Pull up your song list, Dwayne, and you can tell us a little bit more about things that your family has done because you know hearing uh, hearing loss is for life. Right? Yes. And it doesn't yeah, regenerate. It, 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 does it doesn't get any better at all. So you, that's for sure. Um, you know, you just have to you have to look at it. As a standpoint, that is there, are we hooked up here. Yeah, we're, mm -hmm. I don't know why it worked in rehearsal. Yeah, it worked. It in really rehearsal. did. It, that's what I told you. It's, just, it's, it's the absolute thing. Well, we'll try again next week. What can I say? Um, now, uh, hearing a loss is for is is for life, and what you've got uh, is a situation that never gets any better. And we've all the research that's coming out lately about if you have an untreated hearing loss, you end up with uh, losing your memory 30 percent faster. Uh, you do increase your uh, chances of uh, dementia, um, and uh, that's some of the bad stuff. The good stuff is if you get your hearing taken care of, and you can hear your your family and your grandchildren and everybody you know around you. Everybody enjoys it a whole lot better. Right. What so, what physically usually happens in the ear that that in the, the ear there are degrade. in the inner ear there is the cochlea which has got 17 bands of nerves in there and usually what happens is those nerves become damaged 
over a period of time. The That's the now, what would cause that damage? The three most common causes, there are lots of them, but the three most common are the genetics. If your parents or grandparents have a hearing loss, you're more, you're more prone to having one. The second one would be uh, exposure to loud noises. And then thirdly, of course, the aging process always has something to do with it. So, so maybe like a, a, a rock and roll DJ in his 50s would... Yeah, that's, you know, that's, what? that's, <laughs> yeah, that would be a possibility, yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely a possibility. <laughs> that listen to heavy metal music all the time. Yeah, okay. Well, it's, you know, it's, it's, and the thing about exposure to loud noises is that, you know, the uh, OSHA has set up a, a standard of how many hours at, you know, at this level a is going to cause, you know, and all that stuff. But what can happen to you is if, you know, just everybody's different. Sometimes, just like a single loud noise will cause hearing loss. Really? Okay, it doesn't. You know, and other people can go for years without any problem. We treat people who have, and or I've seen people anyway who have been on Navy ships next to the great big guns. Yeah. Got perfect hearing. Huh. Myself personally, one afternoon with a 357 Magnum, and I blew my hearing. Really? That was it. Wow. Just, that, that just at, the one time. One time. I was 21 years old. Wow. Now, what about people that might have a punctured eardrum or things like that? All of those things, f you know, fit into it, but that's really kind of a, a not a you know, usual problem. The usual problem is nerve damage. Okay. okay. That's what's called a conductive loss. A lot of that can be treated by surgery, medical, things like that. When you get an in a central neural loss, the only treatment at this point in time is hearing aids. Right. Okay. Okay. And, and it's you know it's it's an appliance that you know kind of makes up for it. Eventually down the road, I'm sure they're going to be doing something with stem cells and regenerating their hearing nerves the and nerves. all that sort of stuff. And that'll be great when that happens. But right now we're not there. So okay. If you want to get more information on this, how they can uh, be fit with a, a it's an instrument is what it is. Yeah. It, yeah. it is a simply an instrument. Mm -hmm. Eight hundred seven nine two nine five six four. Or, or close your eyes and walk around the state of Iowa for a while. You'll probably bump, in You'll bump into one of our yeah. offices. Yeah. <laughs> Swing your arms. IowaHearing.com on the web or 800-792-9564. There you go. Perfect job. Thank you so yeah. much. We'll get Thank this thing you. working next yeah, time. Yeah, next here. time. We're, we're still going to play with this. We wanted you to hear Neil Diamond. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can, be, that's well, can you believe day. that? Yeah, so we'll get, we'll get it to work. Okay, Don't worry. All right. All right. We'll be right back at 7.30.